Okay. This is just a short one. Just to control our people. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night to some of you. According to your location. On the face of this planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's live broadcast. It's very, very short. Right from our homeland radio Biafra. Here in Biafra land, where I am broadcasting from. I remain the fearless IPB evangelist, Mazemala Chumachuku. I am from Ndia Bonda Boys in Aninri. Aninri is a local government in Nigeria province, Biafra land. I'm a homeland broadcaster. Thank you. I'm a tunic. From what I wrote on the screen there, we will not play in the same league with the infiltrators chief and southeast politicians. We are IPOB. We don't reason like Nigerians. As simple as that. This is just to control our people to know that the very tweet from the criminal I am not saying that maybe their hand is not in it or their hand in is, is in it. We are just telling you about the tweet and what it poses for. Right? When you defeat people in their agenda, they will be frustrated. The next one is to act like a snake you cut off the head. You see? That is why IPOB is number one. Now, they have set this very trap before. We neutralize it. They set it again. We neutralize it. Now, they use the army to do it. We neutralize it. What is that thing? They want to present to the world. Who want to present? Federal government of Nigeria and Southeast politicians want to return back their image. How? By making IPOB victim. Now, the main plan is to say that we can ha not handle matters amongst us. That is to say that there is a conflict or they want to see that we are killing ourselves in that manner. That is the main plan. So this one now, he took responsibility of the killings of army, 30th May 2024. Are you aware? I think you are aware. So do not be moved by taking responsibility. Do not be moved by mockery. And do not shake in fighting criminality. Are you understanding? Why? I want to give you a point before I analyze. You see how we mourn our own that fall victim. Do you see how we mourn them? We circulate their pictures. We announce their name. We publish their name. Because they are in the battle with us. When they have been arrested, we publish it. When they go to court, we publish it. When they are being killed, we publish it. Are you understanding now? I want to direct you. Now, the criminal that is making tweet to drag your anger, to act like a Nigerian, to give the Southeast governors credit to return back their image. <laughs> Do you think that what he is writing can distract IPOB from facing the main issue? Thank you. So, 
the way this very battle is, is that when you want to set our land on fire, we neutralize it. These people claim that Double Lion is a criminal the community know is their commander. He was killed. They did not mourn him. See, what is it called? Baby Bush, they claim to be their commander, but these are well-known criminals. They did not mourn him. Are you understanding? Now, when you deal target me, you ne have you ever seen the picture of those people? No. They are not freedom fighters. They are criminals. Now, the people that are making this tweet, have you ever seen them complain about the death of their own? Have you ever seen them? No. Have you ever seen them complain about the missing of their own? Have you ever seen it? No. Have you ever seen them complain about the detention of their own? The criminal that made this tweet. Have you ever seen it? No. Then, why do you want to be distracted by his tweet? Are you telling me that freedom fighters don't fall victim? Are you telling me they don't fall victim? Now, why is it his own follower does not fall victim? You begin to ask yourself why. They are falling victim. Have you ever seen them complain? No. They have come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Now, ask yourself, how have people been shouting, do or die, and they have been dying? You never seen them. Even the criminal infiltrator chief, you never see him complain about the death of anyone. Those being killed by security agencies, those being killed by the army, those being killed by vigilantes. Have you ever seen them report? No. Have you ever seen them complain? No. Then what does that tell you? What does that tell you when you publish the death of your own? What does that tell you when you publish the kidnapping of your own? Because they are freedom fighters. IPOB publish them because they are freedom fighters. Now, the criminal base in Finland can never mourn his criminals because they are criminals, not freedom fighters. Understand these things. Until you know this thing, you will not, you, you will not understand. I ask again, have you ever seen them secure picture of any of their victims? The answer is no. Have you ever seen them complain about the people they deceived into cell? They are in prisons. Their says no. Have you ever seen them send a lawyer to their victims? The answer is no. Have you ever seen them complain or publish picture or video of any of their victims? Have you not been seeing their victim on social media? You see it? Do they complain? No. Because they are not freedom fighters. Criminals does not complain when they fall victim. Criminals have nothing to present. Criminals have no identity. Are you understanding? Criminal does not go with ID card. There is no need to celebrate criminals. There is no need to mourn criminals. Are you understanding the game? So how do you want them to feel when you are mourning a real freedom fighter? How do you want them to feel? How do you want them to feel when they are even envying the death over the morning? Over how you are showing empathy? How you are showing recognition of the duty of that person? How do you think they want to undermine the work of that person? When you refuse to. The person died, you keep bringing out the work of that person. The person died, you keep secreting his pictures. The person died in the struggle. You keep talking about him. Then they have been telling you they are fighting for freedom. They have been falling victim. Have they ever complained about any one victim? Have you, don't you see them on social media? In the hand of security agencies? Now, the other day, security agencies, vigilante killed IPOB members in Anambra. Did you see IPOB with press release? Yes. Did they write press release? Did they talk to governor of Anambra? Yes. 
That is normal way of doing things. Now, the people you are looking at their tweets in frustration, right? Whether they do it or not, it's not the business. The, the, the business is the tweet to instigate you to go after your own people knowingly or knowingly. Do you understand? When there is people that are on duty to fight the criminals, they have been fighting criminals. If they think they are not criminals, let them publish their victims to confirm that they are not running, running criminal gangs. Let Simon criminal gang leader publish one of their victims since they started terrorizing Igbo land. They don't have victims, but they have been dying. Then what does that show you? Is that how to do freedom? That people who fall victim, you will not publish them. Whether arrested, it is their honor. Whether they die in the arrest, it is their honor. Do you understand? Whether being killed at the battlefield, it is their honor. Even army, they go silent for the, a commander. Now, baby Bush is a commander. They didn't mourn him. Is their commander criminal commander? Did they mourn him? Double lion, their criminal commander. Do they mourn him? Are they freedom fighters? No. Do you mourn criminals? No. Arm robber is when you go to robbery. If they kill you, you go. It's either the police take your body or nothing. Nobody talk about you. But I will be, even if you take our dead bodies, we'll still be talking about the people who will tell you to bring their dead bodies. They are not criminals. Now ask Simon Eberima who tried to cover up their crime, killing our people without bringing it up for people to know that so-so person died. For people to know that they have lost so-so person. For people to know that they have so-so person in the prison. Ask yourself, why will he be happy that you are celebrating a hero? Though he died, though you are in mourning, why do you think that they will be happy when over a thousand of their, the wife or family members of their victims have come to IPOB to go for their release? We said, no, you must go through your zone. You must go through your unit. You cannot go to our lawyer direct that you have been arrested over Monday City at home or over enforcement. You must go through your unit. Let your unit coordinator reach IPOB. IPOB will now inform the lawyer that this person is our member. That's how these very criminals were all dumped in detention. Have you ever seen Simon Ebrema talk about them? The answer is no. Have you ever seen them talk about their victim? The answer is no. Then ask yourself, are they doing freedom fighting? In freedom fighting, you have victims. And you don't underline your victim. Undermine your victim. You must make sure people know you have victim. Even Nigerian army, if they fall victim before Boko Haram, don't you see them announce? Even as they are legitimate army of the country, do they go shy? Do they hide? Ikon Soda in the Kano was on brokers when the message came. He shut down the brokers. Are you telling me that these people have been fighting for freedom and they have been having victims and they never mourn their victim? They never publish their victim. You will do that at me. All these pictures of IPOB victims will surface. You will never see these ones. Is that freedom fighting? Is that freedom fighting? Don't you see Ambazonia, even as they are fighting armed struggle, they want their own. So you ask yourself, what are they doing? They have people arrested, they don't go for them. They have people killed, they don't go for their burial. They don't ask about them, they don't bury them, they don't care about their dead body. But you see IPOB goes for burial. You see IPOB carrying the dead body of Mazi, coach Gugua. He's a freedom fighter. Secure his dead body. That is freedom fighting. So, when you see this tweet, I know why I hit it there before I go back to the tweet. You see this tweet, whether they do it or not, it is part of the frustration that you are exposing them. How? Because they have victims, but they don't publish their victims. Because they are criminals. Criminal does not cry over their victim. If your, somebody, your brother go to armed robbery with a gang, if your brother died, they will not tell you. Do you understand? If people take your brother 
and go to robbery. I ask you, if your brother die in the process, will they come and tell you? Just answer this. That is how to know criminal activities. The answer is no. Criminal gang will never return to, any, to you and tell you that they went to arm robbery and your brother died or your child died. But IPOB will tell you that we went to a protest and your child was killed. Are you understanding? IPOB will tell you that our member was in the house. The, the enemy came and killed him. We cannot hide it. Now, now you know how to know freedom fighters. Now you get it. Have you ever seen them publish any of their victims? Are they not falling victims? Do you not hear Nigerian army publish that they kill IPOB in 27? They kill IPOB in 7. They kill IPOB in 37. They kill IPOB. It's not IPOB. If IPOB fall victim, IPOB will publish it. Whether arrested, whether missing, whether detained, whether disobedient to court order, whether killed, IPOB will publish it. IPOB will talk about it. Whether missing, IPOB will talk about the person. Because they are freedom fighters. We don't shy away from it. Now, why do Simon don't talk about his criminal gangs that fall victim? Because they went to robbery. Because they are kidnappers. Because they are enemy of the people. Because they are criminals. Because they have no identity where they came from. So where do you take their dead body to? Where will you bury them? Even army buries their own. So why have they been killing our people without publishing it? Then why do you publish your own victim and expect them to be happy? When you are honoring the dead who died in the process of freedom. But they do not honor the dead. They don't care. That is to say, they are not fighting for freedom. They are here for destruction. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? If we see any criminal being killed, captured by any security agencies, right? People who operate with the name of ESN, people who operate with the name of IPOB, they will fall victim in the hand of security agencies. Now, if you think that they are freedom fighters, right, then mourn them. If you think they are freedom fighters, then why can't you go and ask for their dead body? Why can't you ask why do you kill them? Because they are criminal. You cannot talk about them. You cannot talk about baby bush. You cannot talk about double lion. Because these are criminals. So, you see some idiots who don't even know what is going on. You see freedom fighters. Even if you see freedom fighters, they report to their victims. It is for record purposes. That is how to know people that are in genuine work, in genuine fight. People that are on criminal duties, you can never see them, okay, if army people go to robbery, which you know it is not official duty. If they kill any of the army, will you see them report? They will not report. He will be missing. Nobody will report to the army that the person will they go to robbery. But if the army go on official duty, if somebody falls victim, will they report? The answer is yes. Now I ask you, do IPOB mourn their victim? Yes. The IPOB publish their victims of arrested? Yes. Do they also report their people that are being missing? Yes. Do IPOB also go to burial of their own? Yes. Do IPOB also take the dead body of their own to hospital? Yes. Do IPOB also treat their wounded ones? Yes. Though we are not in armed struggle, but Nigeria keeps killing us. We fall victims. Do we treat them? Yes. Now ask yourself, do we go, do IPOB go to court to free their own? Yes. Now ask yourself, Simon Eberima and their gang, have you ever heard them say that they lost somebody? The answer is no. Why? Because they went to robbery. Why? Because they went to kidnapping. Why? Because they are not into freedom fighting. If they are into freedom fighting, 
they will be proud to publish the picture of baby bush. They will be proud to publish the picture of double lion. They will be proud to publish the picture of Udmode. They will be proud to mourn Udmode. They will be proud to mourn double lion. They will be proud to mourn baby bush. But do you know what? They never mourn them because they are criminals. Community knew them. Do you understand? They have been declared one third in different communities. So how do you mourn a criminal? Now, if a criminal gang take your brother to a robbery, if their brother for victim, will they come back and tell you no? Then, do you now know the reason why Simon Ebrima and his criminal gang, his gang have been falling victim, you never hear them report. Have you ever seen them? No, water, water, we are moving. We are moving. We are moving. But people are dying. We have roughly 2,000 now in detention. Sit at home enforcement, enforcers. Have you ever seen Simon and Bilma talk about them? No. Then go and read John 10.10, 10, Bible book. The enemy come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Then what are they doing? If they are fighting genuine work, why can't they report their victim? Then how do you expect them to feel when you are mourning a hero? Though you see them coming to take responsibilities, we don't care who is involved. All we know is to get the fact of who is involved. But we are handling the matter that... The Southeast governors have set up since to say we are killing ourselves among us, that the freedom fighter groups is killing themselves, we are freedom That setup they set for long. We will not dance in that tune. We knew it. So for the criminal to come and take responsibility is not today. He took responsibility of target male killings in Aba, killings of army. Did anything happen? He took responsibility of killing of um, police people. But what do Nigeria report? They report IPOB. He took responsibility of killing of uh, army. Nigeria report IPOB. Or Hanes, they say, is IPOB. Wanya say IPOB. Do you understand? But somebody took responsibility. Right? He took responsibility of army killings. Do Nigeria report them? No, they report IPOB. So do not be moved by somebody who is even, that is, somebody that is not happy that you are spitting on his face how they have been having victims they are on video security agencies videos they are victims and um, the criminal they caught the simon the criminal they video them they torture them then you have you ever seen them tell you that they have a victim we are also esn is looking for the criminals and when we get the criminals have you ever seen them come up and say these people are freedom fighters. No. Now, if you get IPOB family members now, do you know IPOB will say this is IPOB member? Are you aware? Then why do they deny their own? Because they are into armed robbery. They are into kidnapping. They are into criminal activities. They are not doing freedom fighters. Any freedom fighter that falls victim, the, the other people, the, his fellow freedom fighters, his fellow comrades will mourn the person. If the person is dead, if the person is in detention, they will tell you that their people was arrested. If IPOB is arrested, we will publish it that we are arrested. If we are killed, we will publish we are killed. If we are being detained, we will publish we are detained. If we are missing, we will publish we are missing. Thank you. Thank you. That is it. So, thank you long time, my brother. That is it. So, what we are saying is that the very instigation set up by the Nigerian state and the British, that is, we have been neutralizing it. We have been fighting our enemies, not in the manner they understand. If they want us to play the pattern of Nigeria, we cannot play. That we have a victim, a criminal leader, came to mourn and take responsibility, you should not be moved because that is what the enemy wants. So allow us to do the matter, but we are just controlling your mindset to know that we are into freedom fighting. If you cannot publish your victim or mourn them, then they are into criminal activities. Only criminals does not publish a victim. 
They don't care. They don't report. They don't go to the, the family to tell them, we went to robbery. Uh, your son will fall victim. Your child will fall victim. Will you say it? The answer is no. But freedom fighters will tell you, we have a victim. Now, if they are doing freedom fighting, why is it that they have been falling victim in the hand of police, in the hand of um, security agencies, in the hands of even vigilante, ordinary vigilante, the four victims in their hand? Have you ever seen them report? No. There is also four victims in the hand of ESN that is anti-terrorism. ESN is anti-terrorist. Anti-terrorism. Now, have you ever seen them complain? No. So, if they are holding IPOB member and they video it, don't you know that IPOB will come for rescue? Or IPOB will still say something, that this is our member? In genuine fight, you will always identify your member. In genuine fight, whether you fall victim or not, you will also tell people that your person fall victim. In genuine fight, that is why people have been in detention as they were deceived in the name of Biafra. Nobody asked about them. The issue is not the detention. The issue is, do the people know that you are there? Then do they come for you? That's all. That's where you are getting from. People will be in detention. People will be in the grave. People will run away in the exile. People will be in different places. The issue is, do people recognize that something happened? The answer is yes. Then, who are the people that will fall victim and nobody will talk about them? Criminals. If police people go to robbery, any policeman that fall victim in robbery, not official duty, they will not report it. If the person is still breathing, is still alive, they will find one and treat the person. But if they go to an official duty, if a policeman fall victim, police will come and tell you, it doesn't matter what happened, they will tell you they are victim. If army go to arm robbery and fall victim, some of them will go to sell and sell. Some of them, though they cannot move you direct to cell, they will move, uh, sorry, to prison, yeah, they will move you to cell, from cell to stay cell, the stay cell, they, they will call the army, the army will come and take you back to the barrack for um, investigation. After investigation, if they discover the army committed the crime, they return him back to the state, police, then the police will take you to court, magistrate court anyway, they will remind you. So we continue, we continue. This is just to tell our people that we know what we are doing. Now, the governors will also be disappointed. Why we also hunt down those that killed our own? That is simple, but not in a Nigerian pattern. Not in a Nigerian way. Right? We will do it in IPOB way, which we have been doing. Even the criminals are getting it hot. But we want to see them say, we have a victim. <laughs> we want to, if you claim that the people, the criminals that are falling victim in the hand of security agencies, that they are freedom fighters following you. The fall victim in the hand also in the hand of ESN. If you feel they are freedom fighters, publish them. If you feel that the double lion is your commander, publish him. Anyone, if you feel that these people is a freedom fighter, they are liberation army. If they fall victim, publish them because Nigerian army publishes their victim on official duty. But you cannot because they are criminals. How do you publish criminals? You don't publish them. You don't publish Odumod. They are criminals. You don't publish um, Baby Bush. They are criminals. If you say that because you know they are criminals, you cannot mourn them. You can, why didn't you mourn them? We are mourning our own because they are freedom fighters. We go for the release of our own because they are freedom fighters. Our own was killed in Anambra. We, we gave a press release to the governor to investigate it. They did not go to robbery. That is how your father will also do when you are being arrested. When you did not go and commit crime, your father will come. My son did not do this. My son did not do that. Is but if you went to arm um, to robbery, even to the notice of your father, 
He may not even come. He may send somebody. He may come when the matter is cool. Do you understand? But on a genuine matter, he will rush. Without even making much consultation. So the same thing with IPOB. If they arrest our own, we will rush and our lawyers will come. If they disobey court order, we will rush, our lawyers will come, we will also go. Then, if our own is missing, we will publish it. Because they are not going, they are not armed robbers. They are freedom fighters. If our own is being killed, we find way. Even people that are on, during protests, people that are on gunshot, we take them to hospitals. Do you understand? Now ask yourself, have Simon and Birima ever told you that they have a victim? The answer is no. Then, who, what are their identity? Do you know them? You don't know them. Then, what is the duty of the enemy in John 10.10? 10? To kill, to steal, and to destroy. What are they doing? To kill, to steal, and to destroy. What, what is the name they used to do it? The name of IPOB. The name of ESM. We continue. We continue. We continue. Don't be moved. Before you be distracted, first go back to the starting point. What is this? Their starting point. Mazin Namdekan will be freed through Monday's Statum, isn't it? Everybody betrayed Namdekan, isn't it? The US so them, isn't it? Because they suspended Monday's Statum as ordered by Kano. Now I ask you, three years now, have Namdekan been freed? No. Was our people victim of Monday's Statum? Yes. Was our people killed? Was their vehicle burnt? Was their business destroyed? Was their motorcycle burnt? Was their vehicle stolen? Yes. We are they kidnapped? Yes. We are they threatened on phone with the name of ESN and IPOB to give them money because uh, they are supporting Kanu? Yes, they did so. Now, what did the Nigeria publish IPOB? ESN. Is that not what you are hearing on news? Did you hear them? No. So, to Nigerian state, they don't exist. How? Now, tell me how you'll be existing for three years. Nigeria will never publish you with your activities. If they publish you, they attach it to a group, to a movement, organization you do not belong to. What does that tell you? That before they mention someone, but they must mention IPOB. If they mention, if they declare him one time, they will say IPOB kingpin, IPOB uh, high leader, IPOB fashion leader. Let them announce him separately because he does not need a group. Oh, government in sign was launched by which group? An individual, Simon Eber. Monday sit at home. Who enforce it? Simon Eber. Do you hear group? No. Now let me go back. Have you ever seen a sit at home with the name of Nnamdikan? No. It must come with the name of IPOB. The people. Do you see it with DOS? No. The people. Now you understand. Now, are you getting the point? So if we... Who, who launched ES and IPOB? Now who... Who declared government in exile? No name. Autopilot is not a name. It's not. It's a declaration, not name of organization. It's a declaration. They declare their first struggle have entered autopilot. So what is the name of the group that declared the autopilot? No name. So that is to say, all their crimes will be attached to IPOB. That is why they can take responsibility of what somebody that is sensible can never take because they are in for a target, a mission that failed. So they're now fighting like a global police on our culture show here because the mission is use the name of IPOB operate, use the name of ESN to operate, use the name of Namdekan to operate, hijack it, claim in charge, do everything, destroy it, use it to rob, use it to kill, use it to kidnap, use it to enforce, use it to um, assassinate, use it to commit arson. To burn people's property. Our duty as government is to report to UN, IPOB this, IPOB that. Now, after they might do all these things, the IEP gave a report, Global Terrorism Index Report, 2022 to 2023. They added IPOB as number 10 in the terrorist list. When the people are still calling IPOB coward, people that are not doing something. Now you ask yourself, how do some group of people kill our people and force them to against their will, right? Because see that of IPOB is civil disobedient. Civility cannot be enforced. Hence, you enforce civility, you, it is no longer civility. Right? So now, they enforce Nigeria call IPOB. They enforce 
Nigeria will call IPOB. They will kill. Nigeria will call IPOB. They will take responsibility. Nigeria will call IPOB. What does that tell you? And they are still telling you we are the, You know, some people are very, very foolish. They say they have liberation and whatever they do, Nigeria will announce IPOB ESN. If they kill them seven, they will say they kill IPOB ESN. They kill them till seven, they say it's IPOB ESN. Have you ever seen Simon Ebirima say, Chai, we have lost one body, one person? No. How can he mourn a criminal? How can somebody that is, will start mourning a criminal that community declare one third? Community know the person is a thief. You cannot mourn baby bush. You cannot mourn double lion. You cannot mourn Udmodu. You cannot mourn 50 in Kobo. Right? These are criminals. You cannot mourn this one that is the rising Ogo. Nkano, Aneri, Ojiriva, Chocho. Chocho, they, they called him to Imo. He was killed in Imo. <laughs> a month ago. A month and ago. Did you hear it from the Mirima? Chocho. Who terrorizes us? Go there now on Monday. You will not see such terrorism. Around Ogo. Nkano. Ogo. Nkano. Aneri. Right? Then Oji River. That's where you operate. At times you will come to Enugu and shoot. And run. They will video it. They will post it. You will think it's happening everywhere. You say, hey, people are not coming out. Chocho, that's Chocho. That's Chocho, criminal. He's dead. You know, in him. They called him for a duty. He went there, they killed him. Did you hear them talk about him? No. Then how do you want him to feel when you are mourning your own? When you are showing people respect. People that died, you show them respect. You circulate their picture. People that they were even arrested, you show them love. People that are even missing, you show them love because they are into genuine fight, freedom fighting. So, how do you want people that are deceiving our people into jail without asking of them? Deceiving our people into grave without asking where their dead body is. Deceiving our people into serious mess. How do you want them to feel when you are mourning your dead? We are not counting anybody away from the killing of the Biafra National Coordinator, right? But we are just handling the agenda given to him from this very tweet. So when somebody is given a job, the job failed. They finally say, however you know you deliver the job, do it. That's his own option. That is what he's doing. This thing he's doing will later revise to the cross them. Do you understand? And by then, there will be no... And what's the matter? Are you understanding? So... Why? That is why we fight like Ajual. Right? You know how many times now you will match Ajual before it will get angry. So, do not expect us to do like you do. We have been losing IPOB family members. We lost many. This is a battle. But not in this manner anyway. But that will not guarantee somebody to come and take responsibility because it is our duty to find out what happened to us. Right? Before you see somebody to come up and say, I am enemy. I am the one who do this. You know that the person has been frustrated. It's a frustration. Are you understanding? Now, these people have killed our people with the name of IPOB for years. After IPOB cut off their hand completely, nobody ever believed them in anything with IPOB and ESN. What do they say? They say no more IPOB. No more ESN. You ask them why. You say ESN have been sold to Nigerian government. IPOB have been sold to Nigerian government. You ask them, what about the ESN you say you are in charge? Under your command is intact and your name is even ESN. So how about ES, e, IPOB? You conduct a vote of no confidence against them. So you sack them. They don't exist. In 2022, isn't it? Now, listen to 2023. You said they have sold ESN. Is it the same ESN that is in your control? They collected it. And sold it to the Nigerian government. <laughs> You believe me, Bawalia? 
You very well, Are you understanding? You decorated the ESL, your name even ESL. Right? You raise funds with the name of ESN. You say you equip your ESN. Small time. When you have been defeated, ESN doesn't exist. How do you expect my your enemy to report you when they have tried to kill you? How? The enemy will tell people you are dead. So how do somebody want my enemy who want me dead to give you good report about me? How do you want so? Somebody that used the name of ESN to rob, kill, kidnap. When he did not even reach closer to ESN, they used criminals that fall victims, nobody mourned them. Baby Bush is their ESN, Double Lion their ESN, Odmod their ESN, but they never mourned them. Then, are uh, they freedom fighters the entire time? No. Only criminal will fall victim, nobody will report them. Then ask yourself, have they been fighting for freedom and they never reported their victim? The answer is no. So that is to tell you that you should not be moved when they are being jealous that you are mourning your death, giving them their rights, even in their absence. They cannot do it because they go to robbery. Simon Ebrima, they cannot mourn anybody because they don't do legitimate things. The person you are going to mourn, this community knows he's a thief. The community declared the person wanted. So how can Simon ask about their victims in police stations, in prison? Yeah, because they went to robbery. They went to enforce. They went to kill. They went to burn down vehicle. They went to burn down motorcycle. They went to kidnap. So how will they ask about them? That's why they're in detention. Now, how have you ever seen them go to burial? That you see IPOB go and bury their own. So, how do they do the dead body of their victims? Now, this is a question you ask yourself. Because when people are <laughs> coming up, you need to reveal them to people, to the world. That's why we say, Ima Halanka, I am in a strong lawyer. <laughs> Bring out our brokers. You cannot. Are you understanding? So the instigation he want to set with this will teach him how to treat this matter. So he's to it. He's just a Chinese one. He's not to be compared with Nigerian army, police, to it, and so many things. Do you understand? So if Nigerian army can report their victims of Boko Haram, during Boko Haram, police will report their own. IPOB will report their own that died under peaceful protest or died while kid when uh, in their house as was killed by the enemy or those that was kidnapped or those that anyhow we fall victim will report them because they are legitimate freedom fighters. Amazonia they want their own but they don't want their own. Their own. Their own. How? Because, why? Because they are thieves. <laughs> they are criminals. They have no good record. Do you understand? So how can somebody parade the picture of a criminal that the community declared wanted and say is their ESN? We are going to bury our, our liberation army. We are going to bury... They have been killed, 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 and massacred. They keep bringing new, new people who don't even know what they are doing. If they just come, they will give them cloth to wear. They have killed those people. Security have killed them. Ask Simon Eberima. Show us one picture of your victim. Show us one burial of your victim. Show us one uh, uh, freedom of your own that are in detention. Show me. You cannot show us. Are they not falling victim? They are falling victim. Are you not seeing them on social media when they are being caught? They claim to be ESN. We publish it. Security agencies catch them. Village vigilante catch them. ESN also catch them. Now, if you if IPOB fall victim, IPOB will report it. 
Then, if a Rima gang fall victim, why is it that he don't report it? Because he cannot be proud to boast about a criminal who went to robbery and was caught. But to them, oh, it is their liberation army, it is their commander. They killed them in Enugu. They killed them in Enugu massively. What do they say? They say they kill ESN. We told them it did not kill ESN. Now they kill the Kugwa. We publish it. If you kill our own, we publish it. They killed our own in Anambra. We wrote to Obia, um, Soludo, and said these people are IPOD. Investigate it. Are you getting it? But you were here, Nigerian police and army. We kill IPO before. We kidnap IPO. We kill them. Which, but IPO said, no, you did not kill our own. Don't you see us report our own when they fall victim? Don't you see us bury our own when they die? Then how do you come and tell me you kill my own? When you have denied killing our own for how many years? So, what actually led you to suddenly start saying, we kill IPOB, we kill them, we kill... But you have been denying of killing IPOB for how many years? You deny national school, high school invasion. You deny the Afaruku invasion. You deny the um, killings of IPOB in uh, Iguacha, 20th of January 2017. IPOB is indicted with Donald Trump. You deny the killing IPOB in Mbo. Though you, even you went to hospital to get, take those that we took to the hospital. You denied killing us in Amen, 23rd of August, 2020. How come suddenly Nigeria Army police will go, hey, we kill IPOB ESN. We kill, you killed Simon and able to a pilot criminal. Have you ever seen Simon mourn them? No. Have you ever seen him say, I'm sad? We lost people. No. He will come and dance. Immediately, anytime you see him dancing, he has succeeded in killing our people, setting them up. If they are done with you, they will tell security agencies, oh yeah, these people we are sending now, wipe them away. Let us use a new one. That's how they do. Before the police would do, or army would do it, Botos or their commander, all those, they will run away. They will kill them. The next one, the police and army will tell you, we kill IPOB at 7. We kill IPOB 15. Are you the one that will tell us you kill IPOB? The IPOB we told you that are missing, you kill those you take to Kaduna, those you take to Abuja, those you take to Medigul. Did you announce it? No. Those that you raped to death, our women, did you announce it? No. Those that are in your barracks in the north, did you announce it? No. So how come suddenly Nigerian police, Nigerian Army will tell you we kill IPOB 27, we kill IPOB 8, we kill IPOB. Are you the one to announce it? That is to say, you want to cover up the killings of our people who was deceived into criminality with the name of freedom fight. You know, if they reported that these people are armed robbers, it has no gain for them. So the best thing is to say that I will be swollen victim. That is to prove to the world that they are fighting terrorists. That's what they mean. But since 2017, all these killings, they never agreed they killed. In the White House of Namkan, they say we throw them stone. They were passing. But ask yourself, how do they now say we kill IPOB? Hey, Nigerian Army, NAB for IPOB members. These are Simon Ebrima criminal gang. Nigerian police, NAB IPOB 5. These are Simon Ebrima criminal gang. Nigerian police, NAB ESN 10. These are Simon Ebrima criminal gang. Have you ever seen him mourn them? No. Have you, have you ever seen IPOB deny their own? Even the person is missing. That is to say, these people are on legitimate fight. So people that are on criminal fight, as we call them criminal they are, have you ever seen them mourn their victim? Because criminal does not mourn their victim. Criminal does not complain about their victim. Criminal does not carry, does not even bury their own victim. Officially, normally. At times they bury them in the bush where they die. Do you understand? You see IPOB burying their own. Don't you see? Go and search IPOB burying, IPOB in the burial of member. Just search on Google. You will see it. Do you understand? Search IPOB members arrested. Search it. IPOB members missing. Search it on Google. Search IPOB member killed. Search it on Google. Search on Facebook. Search everywhere you see. Now, search. Simon Eber boy or 
other criminal killed, it will not be reported by Simon. It will also be reported by IPOB. Anywhere you see it on Google. Now, have you ever seen somebody fighting a freedom that does not have victim? If Ojuku have victim, he always feel pains. Then I ask you, how do you fight for victim? You die. Nobody complain. You go to jail. Nobody talk about you. You are missing. Nobody, nobody talk about your dead body. Your family don't know where you are. You died. They will bring another imported people to come and start killing. If time is off, they will set them up. They will be killed. Tell me when Simon mourn any of his victims. He cannot mourn. Why? They went to robbery. They went to kidnapping. They went to burn down house. They went to kill. They went to assassinate. They have gone to commit crime. And they have committed crime. So how do you expect police to go to station and say, we went to robbery and one of our officers for victim? How do you expect army to say, we went to robbery, one of our officers for victim? But you will always hear the army report the death of their victims that are on official duty. On official duty. So the same way IPOB does because their members died while on official duty. Then, Emirima cannot report because they went to crime, commit crime. Thank you, Muchileke. I am rounding it up here. Madam Nan. That am my Aaron Gum out of data. Anyway, I have finished the program anyway. Just trying to tell our people that we, should, we will not stand in their tool. They want to instigate. I say, hey, two freedom fighters are fighting in the easy. They are not qualified to rule themselves. That Simon have tried it severally. But we told them, if we find out on this one that their hand is in it, we'll see treat it in IPOB manner. They have been getting it hot in criminality. What we say is, if you believe that the people, yes and court, are not criminal, mourn them. Publish their picture. Tell us who they are. If you think that the people's security agencies court are your freedom fighters, then report that they are missing. Report that they are being arrested because you have not less than 1,500 in prisons, especially in Suka, uh, in Suka Aba and the Owere, right? And then Enugu prison also, they, they are in Ojiriva, they transfer them to Ojiriva and then Suka, they are not much in Enugu maximum, right? They are also in Onecha prison. Have you ever seen Simon say? We are going for the release of our own. Have you ever seen him invade any detention facility because they are into armed struggle to free their own? No. Because the enemy came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So they have, the, he wrote this tweet as he was signaled by those controlling him. So that we say, okay, we are going after those that are supporting Simon. No, that one is a failed now. We pass them now. If IPOB can handle the issue of invasion of Nam Dekano's house, handle it with Nigerian government, very fine. Without going against law. It was Nigeria that later went against law again in Kenya to kidnap Kano. Despite all provocation, we refuse to go against law. So, as we are revenging after our investigation, we will also do it in line with IPOB method. So, do not expect us to play in the same league with them. What they expect won't fail. The same way Nigerian army want to turn to rescuers of our people and turn IPOB to victim. These are the agent also. To say, hey, Nigerian army come to rescue the people of Ibo land from the hand of IPOB. This was the agent. But it fell. He let us say, no more IPOB, no more ESN. The same IPOB you claim to be in charge. The same ESN you claim to be in charge. They collected it from you. They sold it to Nigerian government. The same people you were expelled. You conduct word of no confidence. They later return after one year and take a IPOB and ESM from you and hand it over to Nigeria government. To <laughs> Fiakwa. I am ESN. Hey, ESN under my command is intact. After one year, DOS collected it. Hey, it's now ESN. What we have is black. They have sold ESN to Nigeria government. The IPOB is now IPOB in Nigeria. They have sold it. The same IPOB you say you are in charge. Hey, now they cannot hand it over to me. That is what I expect from my enemy. If you go and ask my enemy who gave me poison, after I have survived it, you ask him, how is he doing? He said, you have died since 
somebody who gave you poison, that will always be his report. That will always be, well, tell them that you have carried disease, you carry S. You know, your enemy can never good, give good report about you. And especially the enemy who want your downfall. Even if you are container landed, you say, in a token is by here. Your enemy can never good give good report about you. So do not go to the enemies of IPOB to listen how IPOB functions. They will not tell you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from me, fearless IPB evangelist Mazda Mada Chumachuku. And from here, our homeland radio Biafra. Here in Biafra land. It is good afternoon. <laughs>